Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bone Lab. Today we are going to break the game again in a way you might not expect. So, <clears throat> we are going to be breaking the game in a way that is very, very similar to the Nimbus Gun. The Nimbus Gun break is very, very easy to do but it is very hard to reverse. Let's go about our dev tools. For convenience. And let's go to your gadgets. Gravity cup. Go ahead and spawn you too. We don't need this anymore. In fact, don't do this if you're in a world that... Don't do this if you actually like are doing something that needs time, progress, effort. Just better not have any effort put into it. Into the actual, like, world itself. <laughs> like, if you're doing a project or something, don't do it because it will destroy your game. Don't. Let's get this clipboard out of here. Oh, you thought that was going to be the break, though. No. No, that's the clipboard. Let's get that out of here for convenience. So, I was thinking to myself, what if I were to just grip the button with the grabber, or the gravity cup, because the gravity cup likes to stick to things. See? It's very good at sticking to things. So I thought maybe it could make it stick to the button, so I could just push it down with that button. So... I was thinking to myself, well, okay, let's just go ahead. Huh. This was not happening earlier. Hmm. You can grab ammo. You can grab ammo. Never knew that. Little factoid. You can even grab ammo. Okay, so, um, if you grab the opposite buttons, as in light ammo and the heavy ammo. Light ammo and heavy ammo. Something interesting happens. Now I might have to put in a little disclaimer. This will have a lot of flashing lights and you might, uh, you know, epilepsy warning. Very bad epilepsy warning. Don't watch if you're epileptic. Last, last chance to get off. This is very, very bad. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. So, as you can see, it does not like this. We are currently riding the vending machine like a bull. It, we are not letting go. We are relentless. Can we even move? There we go. There's the epilepsy. Sometimes, we get thrown all the way to the wall. There we go, there's the epilepsy. I'm gonna have to shut my eyes. This is very, very... And if I just let go, it's too far gone. You can see the vending machine very briefly in the wall, along with one of our gravity cups. Now, I have let go. My controllers are completely ungripped, untouched. They are just dangling from my wrist. Now, I'm not touching them. Um, this is a very weird and anomalous sight. It looks like there is a man in front of me. Um, but I think this is just a very bad visual glitch. But I think that this, with some proper balancing on the vending machine... This physics error can be corrected, but I don't exactly know the specifics on how to do that. Now, if you go ahead and plus, press your level reset button, which is the menu button on the left controller, you can't hear or see it happen, but I assure you, it's easy as that. The entire level is reset. Your view will change to normal. 
you might experience a little frame drop. And there we go. The vending machine. Pretty broken. Not in the terms of good, it's in the terms of... It doesn't want to be touched. Let's go to my heavy avatar. Now, the Dark Lord is a very good avatar because it is very heavy. And also, it is very good because it doesn't have jank, or as much jank, as other big characters. Because you know, the modding community knows that this game does not like big characters. If I can find a big character, I would show you. But I am almost certain I have gotten rid of them all through my last mod dump. Okay. Let's grab it. Oh. Okay. It does not like this. Oh. It seems we have pressed the button to go back to the Bone Lab Hub. Well, this... Hmm. It looks like our experiment was cut a little short. This is very sad. Ooh. Okay. So, I know of another ammo well in... Not mods. Sandbox. It is a map called Tuscany. Can he fit? He can fit. So, I know of an ammo well, or an ammo vending machine, in Tuscany, and let's try and break Tuscany. Slap a butterfly for good luck. Okay. Okay. Let's finish this. Okay. So, if we... Not even touching it. We can move it very easily with this avatar. I will find it somewhere on ma.io and link it in the description if I ever find it. But a very big problem is they do not like to be touched. Oh, he's going to keep going. That butterfly is not going to stop. Wait, is that the same with all the butterflies? Oh, they don't have friction. Okay. Well. Get down. Let's get you on auto. Get back up. So as you can see, tossing it around in this heavy avatar makes it feel like it's just a cardboard box. But, in reality, it is game-breaking, and you should never grip these pipes. Now, let if we switch into Ford, let's see what happens when we grip onto the pipes. Okay. It doesn't mind a smaller avatar gripping onto the pipes, but I think it's the bigger avatars that it minds because they have a lot more gravity to work with. Okay, let's try and flip this over. Come on back, big guy. Okay, big guy. Flip it over. Now, the thing with the vending machine is, is very finicky. I have, we have seen that the vending machine is very finicky. It seems to only want to have a few grip positions even though your hands are clipping into the actual machine output spouts. It does not like this. It is... What up, son? Interesting. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. We are on top of the vending machine. Interesting. Okay. Let's see how it works with our favorite tool that can straight. Now, we have it on single, so it should only spell out single. But if you have it on auto, easy. Infinite ammo, no effort. And only a few ammo boxes can spawn, and you can just stand under an ammo shower. This is a very good strategy if you want a lot of ammo. in a short amount of time, but where it gets tricky is 
the actual vending machine itself getting welded. So we turned our constrainer to the weld tool by pressing B on the thumbstick, not on the thumbstick, the, the keypad, and let's constrain it to the floor. Now let's try to move it with the big guy. This is where things get interesting. Come on. Come on. Okay. So this is a new development. It seems to not want to be jank. Well, Bone Lab is jank, but also it's not wanting to be the correct jank. Oh, it seems that the ammo well has run out. We have broken the ammo well, gentlemen. The ammo well spews no more. No matter how hard we push the buttons, the ammo well is dry. And... Well... So, what I was trying to demonstrate was... When I would weld the ammo well, the ammo vending machine to the floor, and I grip it along the pipe. Uh, that's just my stick drift. Hold on. It gets a little finicky. Now, what used to happen was the entire vending machine flipped upside down. Yeah, I wish I had a photograph to prove it. But the vending machine flipped upside down, and then my game crashed. Straight to desk, straight to menu. But it seems that I cannot replicate it for you guys today, and for that I am truly sorry for trying to show you something, and I'm sorry for wasting your time. Oh, ammo well works. Well, thank you guys for joining me on Bone Lab Jank. And I hope you all have a very nice day. Good. Uh. Uh. Goodbye. Oh. Goodbye.